I'm just so bubbly right now. I, I'm sorry. I'm just so bubbly right now. I just, I watched like the best video ever. Oh my goodness. I've been making, okay, so I'm getting a lot of videos for the trans TV thing that I did on that one channel that one time. And I'm going to make another one and I'm going to hopefully make more on that channel, but I need to find more videos and I'm trying not to make it so that they're like videos that everyone has seen. So I'm, I'm kind of going through a lot of videos. I honestly haven't been watching trans videos in like forever. Like I remember, I think my freshman year, I watched quite a few of them and then I watched some in my sophomore, my junior year. And then like once I, it was in my junior year, I really, from there, I slowed down because I started transitioning socially. Like once I hit November and I started HRT, I didn't watch any videos besides like, you know, some hormone like uh, effects and things like that. And like, you know, just a few that were my favorites and one or two YouTubers that I really liked, but beyond that, I didn't really watch any, so I never like Google, or not Google, I never searched for a male to female, or I never searched transsexual or anything. So there are a lot of videos I haven't seen in forever. There are some videos that like, you know, I'm, I, I've never seen before, so like, I'm, I'm going through and looking at a lot of stuff, finding videos I like, and some, finding some that's not terribly long. Normally my cutoff limit it's about like four to five minutes like it, it depends on how good the video is and everything I don't want to have like a really long video and then so I try to keep it short if it's three minutes or less it's pretty well in there and if it's like a short like little commercial it's awesome uh, if any of you guys like have any suggestions and you want to like you know send me a message with like a link or something that you think would be awesome I'll probably look at it and you know if I like it I'll put it in this little folder that I have set this playlist and then Eventually the playlist gets turned into like a little trans TV. I'm not so bubbly anymore. I'm sorry. I, I finally got over my bubbliness. Um, I just watched a video a little bit earlier and like they were fabulous. I love them. They just like, I want to hug them. I seriously do. I want to hug them. When I say um, I feel like sometimes people get offended when I say um, like not um as in you um, but I love them because then they think they think him and then it's like it's more of a, a slang for them I don't know I think I, I think it's like common knowledge but then sometimes it's not so today uh, I was gonna make this vlog in the pottery studio but I was in there for like I don't know how long two to two three four five six seven eight nine ten. so like eight to nine hours like seriously eight to nine hours in a pottery studio and my phone ran out of battery. And towards the last bit of it, I, I ran out of battery and so I didn't have any music playing or anything. And so I finished what I was doing. I was like, yeah, I need to go to bed. So I came home. I ate something. I watched like some chef show that my roommate was watching, which is kind of interesting because I like watching people cook food as I'm cooking foods. <laughs> I'm going to upload this video in a little bit. Hopefully it's not too much editing. I don't think there should be. I've been keeping my sentences kind of long and hopefully so, whatever. Uh, I'm going to also be painting my nails hopefully tonight because I haven't done it forever. Like I need to, you know, get my nails all nice and good because I just haven't done it. And then I'm going to paint it a color. And the first person who posts uh, a color, if I have it, which I, I have pretty much the whole rainbow. So the closest thing I can get to the color that they say, I'm going to paint my nails that. So quick post. One last update on like, you know, my face and like the laser hair removal. Uh, I do feel like my skin is a lot smoother and softer. I, I still have some hair in it, but I don't feel like it's rough anymore. I don't feel it's 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 really smooth. It really is. It's amazing. Even if I have hair that's sticking out, it's still a lot smoother and a lot softer. And it's probably because I haven't been shaving as much, but it, it feels a lot better. My skin is just I love my skin right now, and I can't wait for it to all be out. I'm gonna be. And then I won't have to like wear makeup if I don't want to because well I was told before I have a really good complexion like before I started wearing makeup and everything so hopefully my complexion is still really good and if not hopefully I can get it up to par and as much as I like wearing makeup it's something that if I didn't have to I mean I wouldn't because it's just it takes up time it's it you know you have to buy the makeup and everything and I mean I would still wear like eye makeup and like maybe some lip balm or something but all the same like it, it'd be really nice not to have to put foundation on and a powder on or whatever and honestly I don't actually own a powder I just put on foundation I think I'm gonna call this a video and tell you good night so good night <laughs>